Are you worn down by uncertainty and you just want to make the kind of changes in your life that will bring about a little bit of peace and, and maybe some success, maybe happiness, maybe peace of mind, maybe confidence? My name's Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how to connect with your spiritual divine support system so you don't feel so scared to make changes or so all alone and stressed out when it isn't necessary. If you're here to my channel for the first time, welcome, welcome. I think your spirit guides led you here, even if you're unaware of them. And if you're coming back, welcome back because SOS time, your spirit guides are really trying to help you, but they can't get through if your ego has the go away sign. So we are going to talk about that today and let's just get on with it. Now I've worked with people for, uh, for, for so many years, but part of the reason I was motivated to make this particular subject my, my point of my focus today is that I talk to a lot of people. I mentor people. I do intuitive guidance and channeling. I'm on podcasts. I'm taking questions on my, my membership. I mean, I'm in the conversation of what's really happening with people. And I think the biggest block I'm encountering, or not even I think, the biggest block I am encountering is that people aren't actually as confused as you'd say you are. In fact, most people that I have worked with actually have a very deep, clear sense of what would be best for them are certainly what isn't working and a strong impulse to make some changes because you are intuitively and naturally endowed with this inner compass. However, what causes people to pause or hesitate or freeze is feeling alone, feeling like this is too big for me to handle. And especially if you already feel overwhelmed with responsibility. Maybe you feel overwhelmed with your your family or your children, or maybe you're working two jobs, and maybe you're just not sleeping at night, so you're exhausted, in which case, all, adding more stress to your life to disrupt it, to change it, just might seem like not possible. However, what would happen if you knew and actually took advantage of the fact that you had a tremendous divine force available to help you for real. And in the moment from the smallest, where did I lose my keys? Where did I leave my wallet? To the biggest, which is what is my purpose in life? And how do I find my partner? And how can I feel good in my body or get a good night's sleep or feel safe or make some money or put some savings away? Right now, our guides are banging on the doors saying, let us help you. You do not have to feel so alone. But here's the deal. Your guides can't get through to your ego. It's like trying to communicate the internet through an AM radio. It doesn't work. The vibrations don't line up. You have to dial into the frequency that is a, that, that makes that contact with your guides. So how do you do that? Well, first thing I want you to do is I want you to consider three things today that will be very helpful. The first is to spend five minutes every morning just breathing, but in a particular way. I want you to breathe in to the count of four, hold to the count of two, and exhale to the count of six, and hold for the count of two 30 times. And that might seem like a lot, but I'm telling you, you'll just, it's like, it's like everybody out of the pool, all the noise, all the confusion, all the heaviness, all the fear, all the hangover will go out the door if you will just sit up in bed, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, breathe in through the heart, breathe in through the nose. Imagine breathing in through the heart to the count of four, hold for two, pull your belly to your spine. And as you exhale, do imagine that you are emptying the garbage, the noise, the fears, the chaos, the planetary dread that's out there that you might be picking up on 30 times. 
If you lose count, just start over. The whole thing probably takes no more than maybe five or six minutes, but that will quiet your confusion and help you reconnect to your spirit because your spirit support system is here to support your spirit. So we have to reconnect there first so that you can sense, okay, my spirit is in my body. And that might sound crazy, but so many people's spirit left the room. You know how you can tell if your spirit left the room? There's no light in your eyes. There's just like I call drive-by eyes. You're just like dead eyes. And there's no smile. There's no life force because the smile is the life force that says, I'm here. And you have a really tight butt. You really do. Pardon me. But when, when your spirit is in, in your body, you become rigid. You become controlling. You become contracted. You become reactive. And I call that TBS syndrome, tight butt syndrome. So you don't want to have tight butt syndrome. You want to be able to, ah. Oh. So when you're done with your 30 breaths, take a nice big deep sigh, slide into your heart and just, ah. Oh. And just for the next few moments, decide today I am going to allow myself to be supported. I will receive the support I want. Now there's a thought for you. Instead of having to slug through the day all by yourself, feeling alone and disconnected and fearful, just say today is going to be an easy day for me. Today, I am going to imagine a day of surprises, a day of support, and a day of ease. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow that. That's a radical choice, but it invites something new. It invites you to open your mind and your heart to good things. Now, that might seem like a real stretch if you feel bombarded by negativity, but honestly, truth be told, most of that negativity is coming from your own rehearsal. So if the whole day seems like a bit much, cut the day in half between now and 2 p.m. I'm just going to be open to some fun and good things. I am going to be open to receiving help. That's all. And then just notice how help comes through. The next way to feel help is to Get into your body and begin to sense if you have any impulse, aha, urge, ins anything to do something different. And then instead of ignoring it, say yes. Just say yes. I have a client who said that she, she listened to this because I, I mentor and counsel clients. And I said, just have the yes morning instead of the the drudge and the negativity and the resentment morning that you're, you're so trapped in. Just have a yes morning. So she was on her way to work and she got the impulse to stop for a, a protein juice in the morning. And she, she had enough time. Normally she would go to work without any breakfast, without any, any support to her body. But when she saw that, I think it was Joe the Juice or something, she saw it, she said yes. I'm going to give myself five minutes to go in and get a breakfast juice. So she went in and got the juice. And first of all, that was radical. Just her guide saying, hey, a little bit of energy, a little bit of protein will make this day go better. So as she's standing in line to get the juice, she starts to talk to a woman in front of her, just really cheerful young woman who says, you know, nice to meet you or in the neighborhood, just a very unusual chatty Kathy. And because it was the morning rush, they had a few minutes and she ended up telling her that she had a yoga studio in the neighborhood. And my client had wanted for some time to take yoga classes. So bam, bam, there it is. Another yes, another invitation. So she said, just come for free. I'll give you a free class today. Just, I'm just starting, just come. And again, for free. So she said yes. Following that, she loved the class. But more importantly, she met a couple other people in that class that were just in her neighborhood that were really great and said, let's go out after yoga and get a light dinner. Again, a yes 
opportunity. So she said yes, where normally she would say, I have so much work, I have to go home, I don't have time. She said yes, broke her routine, went to dinner, made a whole bunch of new friends, had a really good time, laughed all day. And one of them, she found out, does national trips for women alone, just single women. And she said, come and take one of our trips. Again, an invitation, an opportunity. She said, yes. Now, she hasn't taken the trip yet, but bam, 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 bam. One day, she had so many things lining up and one led to the next, to the next. Within a week, her whole social and emotional life had changed. She had human support. Her guides gave her human support and that human support will then give her the, com- the, the, the connection and the emotional witnessing and the friendship that she needs to maybe make the changes that were just too much in her life before. So I laid this out to show you how guidance works. It's not some radical thing. It's little bitty bite sizes that keep moving you toward what you need to actually feel supported so that you can get back to your body, back to your authentic self, back to what you really want, back to connection, back to friendship, back to love, back to flow in bite sizes. Now, this is really important to start learning to be supported because without it, you're stuck. And the one thing that happens when you're stuck is you waste time. And that is the one thing you cannot get back. So I am teaching a free workshop tomorrow. And it is free on how to connect with your guides how to feel supported so you don't stay stuck anymore. You get out of your head, you get connected, you feel the energy and have the actual experiences of true support that you need to start moving in the direction of your your true path, your highest good, your real potential. So please join me tomorrow for free. Click the link below, it's free. I'll give you more tips and tools and ways to truly experience the support that your guides are sitting around trying to give you. This is the, the, the path from third to fifth dimension isn't the twilight zone. It's small baby steps and little decisions that completely transform your life overnight. Not kidding. But it starts with a yes morning or a yes day. So I hope that you'll say yes to this invitation because it could change your life for the better and it's free. So click the link below and I hope I'll see you tomorrow. For those of you who are new, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and all of you, please leave your comments. Please say yes. And they make such a big difference to everyone. And it can help us all move out of this stuck place and get into the lives that are begging us to begin. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. All my love. 